thing. But like nobody says taint to mean that. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do this one. Like we've we've been this doesn't even have a level on it. <laughs> he's he's like quoting Shakespeare there. Actually, just before we do that, I'm just going to check uh, where this contract is, Jenny of the Woods. The, El the Alderman of Midcops, huh? If that's closer, we'll do that one. Oh, jeez, no. Um, no. No. Alright, let's do the soothsayer thing. This game is ridiculous how big this is. Hey there. Multiple choice, Teresa. Oh, what? In class, sometimes you get random tests. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. I never like getting random tests. Like, it might just be that you're just having a bad day. But like, at least if you know you're having a test, you can you can make sure that you 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 prepare for it. And it's not that that's a real life skill either, is it? It's not like um, where the hell's this thing trying to get me to go? This way, okay. Yeah, so it's not like I go to work one day and suddenly I get a random test at work. You know, it's just not like that's not how employment works. I don't know. Taint. <laughs> yeah. He seemed alright, that guy. Anyway, I, I kept his gold. To be honest, I couldn't remember who. Who we, who we wanted to leave it for, but, uh... That's my gold, I earned it, I had to kill that bloody cockatrice. Whatever one of those is. That's what I like about Twitch chat, though, I don't, I don't know the difference between a dragon and a wyvern until, uh, until I was informed about the number of legs. You have to revise a lot, sister Isa, because you have end of year exams. Yeah, of course, yeah. <coughs> Well, that's uh, it's still a way off, you know. The, the, like your GCSE exams would be two years off. So you you should make the most of this time. Like, don't don't like don't try and <laughs> don't try and sort of wish that you were in the next year up or or whatever, because <clears throat> pretty soon you'll have to join the real world and that. That's inevitably worse than school. Did you vote today, FW? Yeah, yeah. Owl, of course, being uh, nocturnal, did not vote. No, no, he's uh, he's American, so he didn't get to vote in the Brexit. Interesting how like it's 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 worldwide. What is this guy doing? Let me see what this guy's doing here. It's kind of worldwide. Like like people know about it, even though it's not happening in the country. You know. Nordling. What are you doing here? Oh, okay, it's a guard tower. My bad. Slow now. Already started GCSE science. Sister Teresa, wow. So as far as I remember, you get two GCSEs for three science subjects, which I always thought was a bit of a rip-off. Like, you're doing three subjects, chemistry, biology, physics, why don't you get three qualifications out of that? That always annoyed me when I got them. This is a long old way to the soothsayer. <coughs> Real world's ten times better than school, says. says that. Well, that's interesting. I don't know, my job sucks, so... I don't know. I guess if you have a job you really like, I guess that's the difference. Though you you can choose your job, to some extent. You can't choose your school most of the time. So there is that. Ah, oh, his lurch. Okay. This is a strange place with the uh, <coughs> the curse on the villages that turn them all into pigs, which is hilarious. Ah, oh, do you do you really have to? Ah, oh, come on, horse. Three GCSEs in science, says Mulhernator. Two A-levels. 
Wow. I don't want to kill those, they're too weak. So, uh, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, I only got, I got two. I got, uh, what did I get? I got one, in, I got one A level and two GSCs. Maybe I should have focused more on science at school. I missed one of my GCSE papers in science, so I got poor grade. How did you, how do you miss the paper, High Priest? Are you sick or something? Does your horse just not have a tail? That's the first thing a later owl notices. It's like, dude, you, you should try not to look at the horse's ass too much. Do you know what I mean? Like, if the, if the horse's ass is the first thing you're drawn to by looking at this game, then... Uh, it doesn't have an asshole either, really, does it? Like... I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't I, it's it's confusing. There might be like um, because this is obviously based on the Polish novels. Um, I'm wondering if there's a reason why the horse doesn't have a tail, you know, and they just kept it in the game. I'm not sure. Your stepdad, Teresa. You're talking about what career you'd like? Military police. Wow. <coughs> Thing is. The thing you've got to ask yourself, I suppose anything to do with the military is, uh... I've just got to watch out here. It's quite a high level area by looks things. Oh, there's a monster nest here. We can kill those now, can't we? The thing, the thing with the, uh, the military is you've just got to ask yourself, like... Can you take orders without question? Just do as you're told even if you don't want to, you know? That's kind of a big part of it. No offence, Teresa, but you, you seem like a bit of a rebel, you know? Do things your own way. And, uh... I, I don't know if... I don't know if that fits the sort of military lifestyle. Same with the police, though, in general. You'd have to... pretty much do as you're told. Right. Geralt is a bit of a rebel, definitely. Can't wait to finish secondary school. Don't say you can't wait to finish secondary school. You, you like. I don't know if it's just me, but I really enjoyed that period, of my life. I've kind of. <clears throat> I'd like to go back to it. Surface here, dig their way out. Right, monster nest is destroyed. I've got to remember you can go back and loot these afterwards. Like it's not obvious that. They're going to the soothsayer. Give me the raw meat. You're not a rebel, says Teresa. You, you seem like it. I don't know. Maybe you just want to give off that impression. That's exactly what a rebel would say, says Al. That's true, that, yeah. This reminds me of a secret Hitler. That's exactly what Hitler would say. What's this over here? No, not interested. Wolf, sorry. Oh, he's chasing me. And burn. He regretted that. Benek. Huh. Refugee, eh? Hmm. You going north, Master? Why do you ask? Uh, I thought you could see if anything's happened to our men. They've been gone a while. He has got a lot of tattoos. My reward. How do you want to figure it? Oh, uh, we well, we thought that I you you're old. I am in trouble. Uh, let's go for three hundred. If that suits you, excellent. What do you need? Merchant caravan came through not long past. Hired some of our boys to guide him to the bridge. They were due back yesterday. Fine. Keep my eyes open. My brother Tomil led him. Talk to him when you find them. Clever man. Not like the rest of them, eh? So same question to Owl that I often ask people who watch that aren't English in The Witcher. Are you, you, you can understand all these people, right? Are, are any of these accents kind of like you're thinking, I can't really understand what they're saying? Because some of them are quite heavily accent British, which you're probably not used to. 
Where's the soothsayer then? Oi! I don't look awful. Shut up. That was so rude. Coming up to me saying I look awful. That it's not the soothsayer, is it? Been expecting you. Come closer. <laughs> Wait, they're speaking English? Yeah. No, Al says he can understand them. Yeah. Fair enough. We know each other. Not personal like, though I've seen ye many times. I've a gift. I see the future. Yours as well. Bollocks. But not for free, I guess. I don't ask much. If you've a bite to eat. It's random. <laughs> I want to play Gwent. Uh, your gift, tell me about it. Been having these visions long. Since I were a tyke. My mother a took tyke. me to the village <laughs> witch once. I fell into a cauldron full of some magic brew. Mm -hmm. Seriously? If I'm to tell it serious, twere as a youth that I got hit in the back of my head with a rock. Started seeing more than others. I'll play some cards. I wanted to ask you. I, I play Gwent. And I, we can play for the prize card in my collection. You a mind reader? The good gods did bless me with some precognition. I say some, because <laughs> it's selective like, only applies to mundane matters. Not a bird will ever shit on me, but all my foresights never helped me win a Gwent. He must be able to keep his car really clean then. Let's lay him out. So Gwent, if you're not familiar, is uh, it's like it's just, it's a like a collectible card game built into the game, which is really weird. They're releasing this as a separate standalone game. Uh, but I pick up cards from whoever I can, basically just and and here's my opportunity to win like a unique card. I can I can buy generic cards from from various people around, uh, but what I want to do is try and win this card off him. So I've got to beat him to get this card. Uh, you can see that uh, the square tail, the elves, I don't have anywhere near enough cards to make a deck out of those. Monsters, same deal. Uh, the Nilf Guardians, I don't have anywhere near enough cards. So the only the only one I've got enough cards to actually play as is the, the Northern Realms here. And uh, these are all the cards that I'm not using. So I've got, I've just about got enough of it. I mean this is still really a, a crappy one, you know. Uh, my leader is set to this dude. Clear any weather. I like that. Yeah, so I really don't, I don't have enough because you have to um, you have to when you buy cards, you don't know which deck they're going to be part of. You know, it might be that someone has loads of cards from a deck you don't really care about. Oh yeah, this dude. Poor fucking infantry. They're not. They're not uh, shy about the uh, language in this game, or the sex either. Right. So I've got three rows. He's got three rows. I've only got a certain number of cards. I've got to use this deck of cards that I pull out here to win all. Th well, best of three. So I've got to win two of the three games, uh, and I can get rid of some of them. Uh, adds plus one to all you. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that one. Impenetrable fog. What else have I got? Yeah, that'll do actually. Okay. I think I get to go first. Nope. Fair enough. So we've got ten cards each, but the ten cards have to last till the end of the game. Oh my god, what's he done? Yeah, so he's got three ghouls in his deck. By playing one of them, he gets to play them all. But that's still only three points, you know. That's not actually that good. So I want to try and beat him, but I don't want to beat him by so much that I don't have enough cards left for the next round. Again, I could concede this round and keep all my cards, but then he's only played one card, so it's probably not worth it. So let's... Uh what is the weather card we've got? Ranged combat. Okay, so that's the middle row. We can affect his middle row if we want. What's this do? 
type bond. Well, that, yeah, so we've got the ability to double the strength of both of those. Let's do that. So it plays a little bit like Hearthstone, you know? Not a lot. Ah, oh, dick. I think I can get this guy back out, though, with my medic. One card from your discard part. No, uh, no heroes or special cards. I don't know if that counts as a hero or not. Let's find out. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably going to use another Scorched Earth now. No, a Necker. So he gets to pull all the Necker cards out of his deck as well, but... Oh god, he's got a lot of them. Right, so it's nine each at the minute. He's got... he's only got five cards, though. He's, he's used a lot of his cards, you know? Uh, now's our chance to use this one. So that'll double the strength of both cards, and now we're up to 21. Oh, come on! I hate that card, I don't have one of those, Scorch. Oh, he's decked me in there, hasn't he? Um... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to target dummy this. Now I'm back to zero. Now he's got to play, or pass, yeah? Right, so now that he's passed, he can't play again in this round at all. So, all I need to do, I can keep on playing cards now, as many as I want. All I need to do is get to uh, 10, which I can do very easily. Let's play that. Now he doesn't get another go now. And, uh... I'll play that. I don't have another one of this with the same name, unfortunately. So now we can pass as well and we'll win the round. Great. It's my round. So he gets uh, one randomly chosen card to stay on the board. Luckily it doesn't get the bonus, though. I get an additional card drawn, though. I can only get one of these back. Uh, there's no point getting one of the fours back because I need two of the fours to get the bonus. Let's get let's get this guy back. So we're up to ten straight away. He's only got four cards now as well. Oh god, that's a nightmare. So we can double the strength of all cards in one particular row. So if you play the ranged one here, uh, we'll be able to double that. High Priest says the only card mini games I was ever any good at were in Gun. Oh, he's used his leader card. Um, yeah, he's just doubled the strength of everything. Huh. And this is. Impenetrable Fog is ranged combat as well, so I can't affect this row. I can double the strength of these, but that's still not going to help, because that's 11, so that would be 22. That's not enough. So, I think we deliberately lose this round. He's got two cards left. So we're going to pass here. He'll probably pass now, because he's, he's won this round. Yeah, so it's one each, but he's got two cards. This is crucial now. He can't get more cards. He gets one to stay on the field. But I should get another card in my hand. No? Well, uh, that's... Oh my god, are you kidding me? Uh, Wow. So he's on 20 already and he's still got a card left. We might have lost this. Uh... So what I'm going to do is play this dude, and we'll get two cards. It will give him points. Excellent, that's a pretty good one. Right, so we've got to get to 25 here, 
that doubled is excellent. I think we can do this. So that doubled is going to be 16, and that doubled that's going to be 26. He is going to be kicking himself. Lol. <laughs> Superb. Beaten by one point. That was close. He had a really good deck. I was right to pass there. And not try and outplay him in round two. So we beat him by one point there. He hammered us in round two. And then we won round three by one point. It doesn't matter though, we won two rounds and we won. So is the soothsayer's lot. I know where to find the finest slippery jacks this fall, but how to play and not lose, that I'll never know. If you're the bloody soothsayer, you should have known what I was gonna play. Take this card, you deserve it. Know of any others who play Gwent? You've but one opponent worth your while in Velen, in the village of Midcops. They calls him Haddy. He's a tyke, barely a handful of summers to him. But don't let that fool ye. Ah, so I've got a cr one of the crones. Let's have a quick look. It should be in the monster deck, I'm assuming. Find any cards of the same name in your deck. I'm assuming that's just any crone. I don't think it has to be the same crone. Play them immediately. These are really powerful cards as long as you've got the right cards in your deck. Because you can have a deck with loads of cards in. Um, but you only get to draw 10 out of it at the start of the game. So on the one hand you want your deck to be really small. Because if you only put your best cards in a deck. You can keep it nice and small and ensure those cards get drawn. But on the other hand if you have lots of cards like this. You want it to be really big to maximise the chance of you having cards that match each other, you know? Sai's here! Welcome back, Sai. So we've beaten the Sage. Uh, I think 